What's up guys? Godzilla back again. So to pick up where we left off last time, um, the plastic piece that was stuck between the seat of the valve and the head has obviously been removed. <clears throat> I took the head to my buddy um, Chris at the uh, machine shop that's pretty local to me and um, found out that this valve is bent slightly. I'll insert a clip of that here. Well, it is bent, as you can see. I'm trying to get a good angle. There you go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Time for a new valve. So, I ended up buying a new intake valve since what I'm running is stock anyway. So, there's the uh, part number for that. Um, <clears throat> so, there's the new valve. Here's the old valve. Um, so there has been some machining done to the, the valve that was in there. You know, the, the tips have been done a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so in the process of doing all this, I'm going to be lapping it to the head just so that we get a good seal. And then I'm going to have to, you know, reshim this one valve to uh, make sure I have the right size shim for the cam since um, I can probably show it's hard to see um, it looks like there's been a little bit taken off of this valve right here on the top as part of the machining process so <clears throat> we'll just have to measure some stuff and we'll do some clearancing to uh, get the clearance right between the uh, the cam and the uh, bucket so anyway in this video I'm gonna be uh, lapping the valve to the head so we get a good seal and then uh, we'll be one step closer to getting this thing back running. Alright guys, so uh, if you're trying to do this yourself, uh, you'll need some equipment, some tools, so the links to these um, will be in the description below, but basically you just need a valve lapper tool um, for whatever size valve you have, and then you need some compound, <clears throat> and this kind um, you can mix with water and it'll get um, finer and finer, it's just Permatex, like I said, the links will be in the description below, not too expensive. <clears throat> Um, so first I want to just clean the area off. I'll just use some brake cleaner and a microfiber towel. And then if I can find my permanent marker, we're just going to uh, mark up the seat here and then also along the edge of the valve here so that when we are grinding it away, lapping it, um, and we take it off, we'll see that you know, the marker will be gone and we'll have just metal showing so we know that those areas are actually seating together and if there's any marks left from the marker we need to keep going so that we have an even surface. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and do that. Here's the new valve.
Yeah, looks like this size is good. All right. So here's the valve grinding compound. Let's see if I can't read this here. Apply compound to the face of the valve and rotate the valve lapping tool back and forth until compound becomes smooth. Inspect the valve and seat. Repeat until desired mating surface results are obtained. Clean excess compound off all parts before assembly. There are four sizes, four grit sizes in one application. The valve grinding compound is 220, 180, 150, and 120. Starts out 120 and then grinds down to a fine 220 to thin the compound, add a few drops of water. So if you wanna check out like the whole process of a whole head, um, there's a guy on YouTube, I follow him, he's, he's pretty cool, he's doing a uh, time attack RB25 R32 and um, it's Tangles 01 or Tangeless 01, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, he uh, just did some valve lapping on his whole head and uh, he goes into a little bit more detail. So anyway, I watched his video and learned some stuff, so thanks man. <clears throat> so anyway, let's see. So one of his tips was that before you put the valve down through the guide and the seal and all that, you want to just put some oil on it so that, you know, it seals up, or not seals up, it lubricates the seal. That way it doesn't like rip it or whatever as you're putting it down there. <clears throat> so let me find some oil. There you go. So this is the oil that I use after the break-in. Uh, it's driven racing oil. It was recommended to me by my engine builder. Um, <clears throat> It's BR30 for the break-in oil, and then this is the synthetic oil that I, would, I run now after the break-in. So, there you go. So, let's put that down. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that yet. I don't even have the valve, <coughs> valve lapping compound on there. <laughs> All right. One step at a time, Dustin. Okay. So it's a dark compound. I can feel the grittiness in it. It's probably more than enough right there. Okay. And just a you know, obviously a, a preface to this, I am not a professional. So, <laughs> I'm just doing this in my garage and uh, follow my example at your own risk. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, so let's try this out. The valve is not exactly super smooth on the top, the, the face of it, so this uh, suction cup doesn't stay on for a, while, for a long time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man, this can be tedious. I mean, I can feel it getting smoother. Yeah, you can hear it too. Let's see. Yeah, I can see the compound has taken away um, the marker. So, uh, let me see. I don't think, uh, let's just keep going. I'm sure you engine builders out there probably be like, what are you doing? You're doing it all wrong or something like that. But, uh, I'm here to learn too. And, uh, <clears throat> my buddy at the machine shop told me that, you know, it's pretty much all there is to it. Um, he didn't see any kind of reason while, uh, inspecting it that there would be any, um, reason I can't just, uh, get a new valve and lap it to the head and be good. So that's what I'm doing. looks pretty even it's it's smooth ish so we're gonna keep going we're gonna get some more compound and we're gonna water it down I guess All right, guys, well, that's how you lap a valve, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so then we'll just have to put the spring in the retainer and um, keeper zone again, and then do the whole uh, cam shim thing. Luckily, I only have to do one, because, yeah, that's very time consuming. So anyway, Thanks for watching guys. Like I said, if you want to try this, um, links of their parts that I use and stuff would be in the description below. So uh, until next time guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time. See ya.